Hi Libra, this is going to be your reading for the 5th through the 8th of November. It's good for sun, rising, moon, and Venus sign of Libra and tropical astrology. Please keep in mind this is a general message, so it might not resonate with all of you. If you're looking for other types of readings, readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. This is a love reading. Libra, I read for you on my other channel as well. Okay, if you want to book a private reading, the link to the website's down in the description below. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. I just read for Libra and Sag here. We do love messages. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. Okay, kittens, let's get into it. Interesting reading. Never a dull moment with Libra. So what came out of the Soma Chandra Oracle deck is, I keep tabs on you. New relationship. I'm afraid to tell you the truth. I want to be more than friends. I got stalker at the bottom of the deck. I also see peer pressure underneath here. Something about letting someone go. So I think a new relationship could be coming in for you. I think this person keeps tabs on you and they're afraid to tell you that they want to be more than friends with you. They've been kind of stalking you. Yeah, they've been kind of stalking you. What came out of the Island Time Wellness deck uh, between you and this person is talking, interested, conversing, more awaited message arrives, text call, email, hoovering. I think this is a person that you know already. I think they're realizing maybe they could be interested in you. There's passion here. There's insane chemistry. You guys do like each other. You could have fun together. Also paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, just enjoying each other. Someone may just want passion and to enjoy things right now with you. I also have seduction at the bottom of the deck. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, maybe a third party interference, but probably not. This person is also a flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think they extend their energy to others. Honestly, Libra, what I see is a person coming towards you that maybe wants love in their life. They're just fighting it. They, they're fighting it with themselves a little bit. But romantic feelings are here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I have the Three of Cups. This person could be part of a circle of friends. For but a very few of you, someone wants you to have an open relationship with them or maybe get into what is known as the lifestyle. Swinging, maybe something like that. That's only true if you suspect it already. That was something I heard slightly. <laughs> this person might have done some playing in the past, possibly. Um, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This person has romantic feelings for you. I don't know how safe they feel to let love in. Because the person coming towards you sees themselves as the king of pentacles. The way they're feeling about you is the ace of pentacles. The way they see you is the three of cups. What you need to know is the tower and the final outcome is the page of pentacles. Um, hearing from this person may really shock you. Okay, so this person sees themselves as a king of pentacles. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but they don't have to be that sign. They may or may not have earth in their chart. They see themselves as mature and grounded. Now it's possible that you're married to this person or that they are married because what's underneath this guy is the ace of cups the king of wands and the nine of wands i'm hearing two things i'm hearing that you don't believe for a red hot minute that they're anything other than a player <laughs> but the king of wands is a grand visionary and this king of wands is looking at this ace of cups it's looking at love now you may think they're a player and you don't trust them look at his face like i don't trust you bitch but I also think this is this person, like, like, what are you talking about? Love? No. A cup of love? That's your grand vision? Could you be more creative than that? Love gets us hurt. This person could be very stubborn. It's also possible, Libra, that you are in a committed relationship with this person and you'd really like to pursue someone else and you're just hanging in there. But I see a person trying to come towards you that is kind of iffy about it, but they'd like some stability. They'd like a homecoming. You may think they're a player. They may have a friend that you don't like either. This person may want you to give you a drink or something. It might be one of his friends and you're like, ugh, like friend of a friend. But the way a person feels about you is the Ace of Pentacles. Well, they think you're uh, worth your weight in gold here. I, see, I can feel this person like holding this in their hand like it has weight and merit. 
they might have sent you a package they might have sent you one text they feel like i mean this this will lead to a serious relationship it could also be like a new career opportunity or a new opportunity this person wants a new opportunity they're coming off kind of like an earth sign the practical side older more mature side underneath this ace of pentacles is the three of wands the seven of pentacles the four of wands this person might have been waiting for this opportunity with you for quite some time or they've just been thinking about having a stable relationship with the future for quite some time like i'm getting older i'm growing up here the king of pentacles and the seven of pentacles are often not always, but often a little older, a little wiser, a little bit more mature, a little bit more grounded and practical. It's like they're thinking about this. Whether that or you're thinking about this. And the way this person sees you is the Three of Cups. They see you as fun. Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, the lovers. <laughs> should I or shouldn't I message Libra? They're wondering if that should happen. Um, they're also, they could be a Gemini. There could be Gemini in the chart somewhere. Or if you get a message from them, it'll make you go, ah, what do I do here? Is this person really right for me? Is spirit trying to put me and this person together? You're not sure you're, you trust it. They're not sure if they should do this or not. Maybe you're just a friend. And I have the three of cups here uh, as well, up in this deck as well. But what you need to know is the tower. Clarifying the tower is the empress, the eight of swords, the two of swords. This is like hitting this person like a ton of bricks. It's, they know that you're an empress, for my ladies in particular, they know that you're an empress energy, they know that you're really mature, like they're coming out as a king, and that's great. I like the king of pentacles, but you're an empress. This stresses them out. It makes them face things about themselves that are uncomfortable. You have to step up your game to be with a person that's an emperor or an empress. So it's like, oh, I don't know if I should do this or not. And they block it out. They block it out. They're having like sudden transformation. You yourself though, Libra, if it's if the scenario is that you're married, because you could be, an empress is often a married woman or a mother and the king of pentacles can be a husband doing something different with a new person having a lover that's a friend you're like i don't know about this i'm a little too grown for this um not necessarily <laughs> it's up to you boo but i think this what you need to know about this person if it's that first scenario it's that they are unsure of themselves here they know you're an empress and it's like whoa i have to make sure that I can, I'm good enough for her. But I think they've been thinking about approaching you about this for a while. And the final outcome is the Page of Pentacles. Clarifying the Page of Pentacles is death, the King of Pentacles, and judgment. This person's undergoing transformation, flanked by the Scorpio energy. They're doing a deep dive. I think they're looking at pictures or texts of you. They may put you up on a pedestal. They want to develop something with you further. Sometimes this is where we send someone a package. It could be a message, but that's usually the page of wands. Someone wants to dip their toe in the water here. It feels like earth energy, but with death, which is something is transforming. Or it's like, should I end something with this king of pentacles and go after a king of wands? Or should I, like this person's changing. They're changing. They're learning, a learning something here with this page of pentacles and they see you differently or you suddenly see this whole thing differently but i have the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck so someone wants fun and i have this king of wands here again sexy let's be friends so this person's cards interesting this situation over here this is either how you feel in your current situation or the person coming towards you can be either or the five of pentacles the four of cups the ten of pentacles strength so this person's not feeling really great about themselves they don't really know what they want out of life they're doing a lot of emotional reevaluation. they either are already married or they're thinking a lot about long-term stability in their life they could have leo in their chart leo rising or moon and or maybe mercury and although leo mercury is usually pretty outgoing 
usually. This person is going to hold back. Either that or they're married to a Leo. They hold back. They, they aren't really sure what to do here. They aren't really sure what they want. And I was like, okay, this four of cups, what are they thinking about? What are they thinking about? The Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups. They want to have fun with someone. They want to have fun. Now, I think that this person is undergoing transformation. I think that they're looking at you in regards to dating. I don't have the Knight of Wands, which would be a little bit more immature or a player energy. I have Kings coming out here, but I do have the Three of Cups and the Lovers. And over here, I can see that this person really thinks they want this fun, passionate friend. This is, you could really excite them. I think that they would be happy with you. They want to have a breakthrough with you. But what they really want is like fun and passion. And they may be a little stressed out that maybe you're a little bit older, a little bit more mature. So they overthink it and they block themselves because it's like, holy shit, this is a lot. This person is undergoing like this slow transformation. Spirit is trying to wake them up. I kind of get the feeling though, Libra, that this person would rather go to their MO would be to be the King of Wands, which is uh, I'll sleep with you, but I won't commit to you. I mean, the King and Queen of Wands can fall in love. They have a heart just like the King and Queen of Swords. But this person is, I think, trying to become, I think they're trying to level up. But I think that they may test you and see if they can just get you to date them and be like a friends with benefits at first or not commit. I mean, they might be like, yeah, Libra is amazing. Libra is fun. But they know you're an empress. They know that the empress will activate the queen of wands, but <laughs> she has pretty fucking high standards. Now, some of you are in a situation where you're bored and stuck. You may be married for financial reasons because this king of pentacles does very well financially. But the truth is you'd rather go do something much more fun with friends you're hanging in there, you'd like a new opportunity, you yourself would make you so much happier to have some freedom. But oh my god, I'm an empress, this would change everything. That could be the scenario as well. I offer multiple scenarios and multiple things of what I hear because this is a general reading. People get annoyed, they're like, I hate it when you do that. And I'm like, well, if you did general readings for YouTube yourself, you would know that I hear hundreds of voices sometimes. So I just pick the few that I hear the most. Those are the two scenarios I'm hearing, okay? I think this person might be annoying you though, Libra. <laughs> First of all, I think this person may show up unannounced at different times or they're trying to find a way in because I've got the four of wands like, hey, neighbor, hey, you forgot this. Knight of Pentacles, I'll bring it over to your place. Oh my God, please leave me alone. But wait, I'm over here too. <laughs> it's like... You, I just keep hearing, get off my lawn, hippie. Like, <laughs> you're like, what are you doing here? Um, this person may, this person may be a UPS driver. This person may be your mail carrier. Someone that comes every day or possibly like um, a maintenance guy in your community. You may say hi to them all the time, but you don't want like, the, it's like you don't seem interested but then the minute he turns around here it is again i do think with these this night and this page approaching you you might <laughs> they might wear you down you might soften to the idea and i was like okay well what's the page of cups here and i have the tower and the three of cups this shocks you too you're shocked you're like what i only ever saw you as a friend or really huh you may also hear some gossip about them and this person, I think, is attracted to you. But I think that um, they may struggle to come forward. They may go, like they wanna talk to you. There's passion here. I also have seduction at the bottom of the deck. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, and flirt came out as well, right? So this is what they're gonna, this is like what they really wanna stick to probably because it's safe. But the truth is someone is having romantic feelings 
and they need to believe that it's safe for them to love. This may be a friend. They may ask their friends to help, like, let's go out in a group dynamic so Libra doesn't exactly know how I feel. This person could be married. Yeah. So that's what's coming in from the 5th through the 8th of November, Libra. I think that this is a person that's trying to not be a player anymore. Um, but they would do friends on the side or sleep with you right away. They, they want someone to make them feel good about themselves, okay? And a passionate friend. I'm going to do an extended to see if this person, if, if they'll open up because they're trying. They're, they're the tower here twice. It shocks you. It shocks them. You could be like, no, I'm married. What? Or it's like someone's got to let something in and let something develop. So I'm going to see what's going to happen. You're seeing, they're seeing you differently. They're seeing this whole thing differently. Yeah, here you are. Here you are again. Someone, you may be stuck in a marriage or they're stuck in a marriage and they can't leave. Someone can't leave for financial reasons. There's nothing they can do. They just hang there. Yeah, they could be married and unhappy. So, and what they really want is fun and passion. So I'm going to do an extended and see where this could go. Okay, if you feel like you need the extended reading, the link to that will be at the top of the description below. But this is what's coming in. It shocks you. This person's trying to get it together and message you and approach you and do something with you and get serious. Yeah. All right, Libra, I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.